Hi guys, Steph here. Now here we go with the first one for 2017. We've got a gorgeous pen for you today. Um, I came across this particular pen over the Christmas New Year period. So, you know, even over the Christmas and New Year period, I was still out there looking for pens. We've we found a few pens that will be uh, restoring, etc. But anyway, let's uh, stick with this one. So what we've got for you today is an absolutely gorgeous Mont Blanc fountain pen. So what we've got is the service book with it, which will pop to one side, pop it there. And it comes in this case here. Now, I'm not too sure whether it's the original case, but um, it obviously helps to protect the pen. So let's open it up. And there we go. So can you recognize which one it is? Now, to some people, this is the, well, a quite an a, iconic fountain pen, if you like. It's the Mont Blanc 149 Diplomat. Now, let's take it out of the case. Let's pop the case to one side. And here we have it. Now, as I say, I came across this one over the Christmas period. It was a little bit of a sort of, well... <laughs> No, well, it wasn't as tidy as as it is now. Um, it was a little bit tired. I've I've actually serviced it. I've actually polished it, cleaned it up slightly, and it's come out like new. Absolutely stunning pen. As I say to some people, this is an iconic pen. The Mont Blanc. Sorry, and again, don't quote me on my pronunciation. I know some people quote it as Mont Blanc or Mont Blanc. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's the Mont Blanc 149. Some people call it the Diplomat. And again, quite an iconic pen because of the size of this pen. As you can see, it's this sort of, if you like, a cigar-shaped fountain pen. Um they made these particular pens, the 149s, I believe they started making around about, I believe around about 1949, and they're still making them today. So they've, they've, they've actually had a long life, if you like, in sort of manufacturing terms. And I do believe that the, the earlier 149s are actually quite highly collectible, but this one is quite a modern one. Um, when I say modern, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm not a, well, I'm not a Mont Blanc uh, sort of professional, if you like, but I'm dating it around about the 1990s, maybe even, even earlier. So it's quite a modern version. As I say, it comes in this gorgeous black, and as you people will know, um, it's made out of what they term as a precious resin. It comes with gold-plated trim, which we'll show you in a moment. But the main thing, as I say, it's a large, very, well, yeah, it's a large pen. Simple as that. The size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's approximately 147 millimeters capped. Around the barrel here, it's a lovely chunky 15 millimeters in diameter. So, as I say, a large pen. For me personally, a lovely size. But saying that, I'm not a great big fan of Mont Blanc pens, although I do actually prefer the, the vintage versions. But saying that, still a very nice, handsome fountain pen. As I say, comes with gold filled trim you'll see to the bottom there it's got these three sort of cap bands uh, quite a sort of broad one flanked by two narrow bands now if we show you the cap band let's bring it nice and close let's keep it nice and still and I'm hoping you can actually read it but it actually around the band it reads Mont Blanc and then after that it has Meisterstuck and then number 149 okay so we're twirling that all the way around so you can see that is written on the broadband in the middle going a little bit further up you can see the very recognizable Mont Blanc clip and it's quite unassuming quite a plain clip but once again, very recognisable 
to the Mont Blanc collectors. Now to the very top to the clip band it has the serial number to the right of the clip and if we take it all the way around to the other side it has Germany written on the sort of the clip if you like at the top there. To the very top the very recognisable Mont Blanc star if you like although we say it's a star some people will know some won't it's supposed to represent the the peak of a snowed Mont Blanc mountain so all in all absolutely lovely if we take you to the bottom one thing I've not mentioned um, some people already know this is actually a piston filled fountain pen so what we've got is the piston knob to the bottom there and just above the knob we've got this gold band now just a little thing um, when you're dating these pens I am aware that the earlier models this particular ring was slightly rounded and this one is a flat ring so it gives you an indication if, if the pen that you've got is a rounded uh, a more rounded ring it's an earlier version but as you can see this one is quite flat which indicates it's a later version um, another thing to if you're looking for these pens I believe the earlier versions also had the number 149 actually stamped onto the filler knob there it was heat stamped this one doesn't have it which again indicates a later model as with these pens the cap simply unscrews like so let's show you the pen in different angles very very nice a lovely handsome pen the fact that it's a Mont Blanc doesn't really do anything for me but the pen itself again yeah I love the pen it's a lovely size um, a very large pen which I personally like um, but again the name well it, the name doesn't really do a great deal for me again I, w I do prefer the the vintage versions if we take you up to the top of the barrel you can see this one has a lovely clear ink view window to the top of the barrel there which again sort of indicates to me you can see it's nice and clear so it's indicating to me that this is again a later model if if on the if you do actually find one of these models um, a little bit earlier you will find that there's some ambering or discoloring to this partic particular window here but as you can see on this one it's lovely and clear um, which again indicates it's quite quite a later model let's take you to the section you can see the section slightly short it's got this little ridge to the very top of the section there and now let's show you this gorgeous gorgeous nib let's keep it nice and still <coughs> excuse me now what you'll notice here we've got again some people say that you can actually date these pens by the by the nibs um, this one is actually it's well they actually made an earlier version this is actually a three-tone nib i.e. it has gold silver and then gold in the middle um, although when I say it's silver the silver is actually a rhodium inlay so it's actually a rhodium uh, plate if you like or well as they term it's a rhodium inlay um, the imprint to the nib again very recognizable 4810 to the top which indicates I believe the height of the Mont Blanc mountain and we've got the Mont Blanc logo just underneath it this one as you can see is an 18 karat gold nib and then underneath it says uh, Mont Blanc and then 750 and then to the very bottom it has some sort of some sort of a logo to the bottom you'll notice also the nib is quite a wide um, it's quite a wide nib at the shoulders it's a lovely large nib which again I personally like let's show you a sideways view you can see the feed underneath there and then let's show you the feed now once again with regards to the feeds 
these particular pens, the 149, the feeds actually differed through the age. The earlier versions were obviously different. Um, some were made of ebonite. I'm not too sure if this one is still ebonite or if it's actually now plastic. Um, I believe it may be ebonite, but I know the earlier versions were made of ebonite. And again, one of the ways you can date the pens is actually by looking at the feeds um, and it will actually give you an indication of the date of the pen. I believe again by looking at this feed, once again it's quite a late model. So all in all, an absolutely gorgeous nib, lovely size, quite a large nib as well. As I said, a lovely size pen for me personally. It feels lovely in the hand, um, just my kind of pen, the size. <coughs> Excuse me again. As we said earlier, it's a piston filler, which means that if we turn the piston at the bottom and you keep your eye on the ink view, uh, ink view window to the top, as we turn the piston, you'll see the piston up in the window there goes to the top of the feed or to the top of the barrel if you like and then once we turn it back again it will withdraw back into the barrel so a lovely piston filling system now although I've serviced this pen and cleaned it etc I know you people like to see them writing so what we'll do let's dip the the nib into the ink turn the piston and I'm only going to turn it a couple of times. I'm not actually going to turn it all the way, um, all the way to the top because it's only for a writing sample. Oops, a daisy. Let's just clean that with some ink. Sorry, with tissue. Um, let's put that to one side and let's bring on some paper. So, what we have here is a. A Mont, Mont Blanc. Um, as we said, this one is the 149 and it's the Meister Stuck uh, fountain pen. Some people call it the Diplomat. Um, sorry, I forgot how to spell Diplomat. <laughs> um, as you expect with this kind of pen and this sort of price of pen. And the gorgeous nib, it's writing very nicely. Lovely and smooth, as you would expect from a pen like a Mont Blanc. There's no variation in the line. It's quite a stiff nib. And I would say it's writing, I would say, I don't know, a fine... A fine to medium, fine to medium line. There we go. As I said, lovely writer. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe we're looking at a medium line, but writing very, very nicely. And again, if you look at the ink view there, there's not a great deal because I didn't fill it up too much, but you can see just a little bit of ink in the ink view window there so let's pop that to one side and there we have it let's put the cap back on which screws on lovely and tight as it should so there we have the iconic Mont Blanc 149 Diplomat or Meisterstuck 149 fountain pen a piston filler made of black precious resin Again, we're dating around about the 1990s, maybe even a little bit, little bit later. All in all, a beautiful, large, well, a very handsome pen, in my opinion. As I said, for me, the name doesn't do much for me. The pen itself, absolutely gorgeous. A lovely pen, lovely size, um, lovely... As well, well as far as sort of manufactured it's a quality made fountain pen so i hope you've enjoyed 
looking at this gorgeous pen as much as always as I like showing them to you people don't forget don't be shy leave a comment but for now I'll just simply say bye bye for now